Nadja Leslo, Colin Robinson, please. I would like to hear what Guillermo has to say. Mm. Thank you for sharing, Guillermo. You are okay. I didn't say anything yet. Then that is okay. Okay. You've been doing that way too much yes, lately. Yes, but I've been getting really okay at it. Oh, are you okay? I'm fine. No, 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 no. You will all forget that someone tripped and who it was. And fine. What are you doing? Showing off your, your sound machine. Why do you have it on rainy night at the Leaky Castles, I think? <laughs> ah, the creatures of the night. Such beautiful music they make. It also has a setting for banshee whale. It's white noise. And abandoned orphanage. I'm go drink a little star. Very creepy. Masters or something that you need to discuss with me? Yes, there is. Guillermo, we know why you have been acting so oddly lately. You do? Mm. Are you... are you mad? Yes. We are mad at ourselves for forgetting your birthday. I am okay, and you are okay. But this is not okay. For humans. So we are taking you out for a birthday dinner. Change into your nicest shitty sweat, and we'll see you at the restaurant. <laughs> Hey, Hi, do you mind if I fall? Thank you so much. That's me. What's so funny? Oh, nothing. We were doing Yeah, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> Eventually, of course, I will definitely be turning you into a vampire when the time is right. But you got to admit, it's a funny... If that were to happen, Guillermo, then I would kill you. I would not like to do it, but I would have to do it. And then I would kill myself, which I would not like either. There are some things about which we do not joke. Oh, BKB. It was all right, Master. I guess I wasn't really that hungry. And that is okay. To the other side. Master, mm -hmm. if I accidentally got made into a vampire mm -hmm. by somebody else, you wouldn't really kill me, would you? Accidentally, you say? Yes. Not intentionally? No, I guess not. I'd still have to kill you. What choice would I have? What about vampires shall not kill other vampires? Yeah, more. I don't like hypothetical brain ticklers before bedtime. You know this. Right. Makes my head heat up. How's about a nice... Bedtime story. Okay. I did see this very interesting movie the other night. Oh, tell me. It was about this guy, and he got turned into a vampire. Really? Yeah, but then he realizes that maybe he wasn't ready to be turned into a vampire. Why not? He had his reasons, but then he tries to find a way to stop the process of becoming a vampire. Yeah, Rupert. please. I don't like science fiction stories before bedtime either. Yeah. That reminds me. I got you a birthday present. I heard you when you said you wanted a footlocker, so I got you a footlocker. Thank you, Master. Yes, you're welcome. Close the lid. <sighs> yeah, I mean, he's been a bit distant lately, but... I think it's because I haven't given him enough shit to work. I feel like I had no other choice. I mean, Nando's been promising to make me a vampire for 12 years, and it's never come true, right? So, like, Derek, he was right there. He's a vampire, so of course I was going to take that whoa, whoa. Yeah, I asked Derek to make me into a vampire, but I regret it the second it happened. What? Because please, please don't tell Nando. Tell Nando. This is the greatest humiliation for any vampire. I don't know if he would even survive it. I have discovered why Guillermo has been avoiding me lately. He has fallen under the sway of Leslo. Leslo is jealous because of how much Guillermo worships oh, me. Oh, there you are. Not now, Nando. Can't you see I'm teaching the boy science? But Thank I... you. Could Nando just... Yeah. He has decided to try and impress him with his only impressive quality. Maybe I'll just... No, Nando! I personally value qualities that cannot be taught. 
Come on, Gizmo. Oh, and me. I'd like to come too. I don't think so. No, you, you should probably stay with Sean and, and help him with the float for the parade or talk to your bird in, in your room. I'm not speaking to Matthew at the moment. All right, fine. I know when I'm not wanted. And this is not one of those times. Come on, boys! Well, I think that is more of a Laszlo thing than a vampire thing. Really? Uh, outer space. Write that down. Maybe not write that down. On the account of it being... You know what? I think I might just fly to outer space right now. Not you or you can stop me. Or you. Hello there. <gasps> Master, what are you... Why are you awake? I decided to get up early to prepare for my upcoming journey to outer space. What? You're not really thinking about going to outer space, are you? Yes. It turns out there are things that I can do that your little teacher, Leslo, cannot. I know that you have become enamored with his intelligence, but it is not intelligence that got mankind to outer space. It took brute strength and gumption. These are clearly things that do not interest you. Wait, are you going to outer space just to impress me? Sorry, what? Am I doing this to impress Guillermo? <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> Master, are you all right? Well, well, well. If it isn't Mr. Vampires, can't go to outer space. Guess what? Ooh. To outer space! Then, who's ready for a... <laughs> I was hoping I'd meet some little green buddies up there. Nope, nope, I'm not staying for this. Are you sure? Oh, my. I have asked Guillermo to join me, but he always seems to have something else going on these days. Guillermo! Guillermo, where are you? I've been avoiding Andor. Oh. It's been hard, physically and emotionally. Guillermo! I just don't want him to get suspicious that yeah. I'm a vampire now, or half a vampire, mm. or whatever I am. Guillermo! And so I have decided to hunt for a new companion. I have acquired a new friend. Oh. And now we are going to the movies together. We are Mishpucha. Oh. Yes, my new friend, he's a total package, mm. has a great sense of humor, loves to work out, and he is Jewish. I had no idea they were Jews in New York City. And now I am proud to call one my friend. Oh, that's great. What, what's his name? Well, look who suddenly reappeared now that I'm quelling about my new friend. I been here the whole time. Well, if you must know, his name is Alexander. Hmm. Alexander the Jew. Nope, I don't think that's his name. Quit your quetching. Linda has yet to call me back on the telephone. Just... Who is that? Is that Alexander? No, why would I be talking to Alexander? I gave Alexander your number because I do not have a phone. Does this fill me with a crippling sense of self it's not... Perhaps we are just too different to be friends. Yes, you know I would do anything for you, but I'm not going to circumcise you. Here's me in the corner. Here's me in the spotlight at my circumcision. Yes, you just can't get circumcised for a friend you met at the gym. Yeah, well, there's no other way. How can two men be friends when they are so different? You and I are different. You are? I am not. It's time for you to snip my tip. Nothing like spending some quality time with old friends. Shh, shut the fuck up. I'm trying to watch a movie here. Shit, 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 Yemo! Gizmo is not here. Where's Yemo? Andor, who has some insights. Este, Hi. Este, ¿Sabes qué? Hello. Sí, sí. Uh, Structure failures. Uh, yes, Joanna, uh, if I may. To the millions and millions of viewers of Channel 8 News Live at 7, you will forget. Apologies to Joanna and Mr. De Laurentiis, but we... Storm. This is all Guillermo's fault! He's not back yet, is he? No. Hey, you guys, I'm back. No need to worry, because I have a plan. <laughs> we are fine, Guillermo. In fact, we are better than fine. We are great. We have our own plan. Okay, we're just trying to help call... Ah. Look, I know I haven't been around, but... <laughs> it's fine. I get it. You have your life and we have ours. And if tonight has taught us nothing else, then it has taught us this. 
We can survive quite easily without you. Well, okay then. Wait, what? You seem to have everything under control, so good luck. I, I wouldn't go that way if I were you. <laughs> yes, Mr. Oh! <laughs> Fucking hell. What happened? Well, I don't know. I was in the library. Don't look at me. Does it hurt? Get him off. Get with your familiar. I just went to get him new trousers a year ago. It is your turn. Why the hell are you wearing a dress? Hey, Nandor, you made it. Hey, girl. But, you know, the one I love the most is actually Nandor because he's like the queen bitch. <laughs> is that crazy? I paid him to do it. He turned me into a vampire. Derek. You could have been turned by a legendary vampire. And you gave it away to Derek. Nando is going to rip your face into a new asshole. Well, does it doesn't matter, does it? Because these guys are going to kill me anyways. Oh, shut up, you dumb dick. I'm not going to let them kill you. That is Nando's privilege. Now, come on. Uh, all right, now, if I can stop the transformation, maybe Nando can turn Gizmo. When Nando finds out, he's going to kill you. And then he's going to kill all of us. Mm. And then he's going to kill himself. Then don't tell him. I'm not going to just give me a chance to make this up. Okay, well, I did this, I did... <clears throat> well, well, well. You've been gone all night. What, you can't even call? I'm sorry. They tried to put me down. What? Why? What did the doctor say? Wait. Don't move. <laughs> what the hell is this? Hmm? Frog? Really? A frog. A frog that flies and has hair and looks kind of like you. Yeah, Mo, do you think I am an idiot? Say no. No? That's right. Because this is precisely what happens when a little birdie sneaks into this house, fucks a mouse, they have a child that grows up that then fucks a frog that looks like you. I think I'm just going... That's important to know. Up next, the man who knows more about roasting than his beloved Arby's. <laughs> hmm? When this guy starts roasting a vampire, you better bring a bun and also some ketchup. <laughs> so should I say the foyer right? Okay, okay. <laughs> All of us gathered here together. Wow. This entire evening has been nothing but a pageant of insipid nonsense. <laughs> yes. Worshipping at the altar of your own mediocre humans to this asinine affair. <laughs> we vampires are not cheerful creatures, bystanders alike. Uh, uh. For years, I now know that you have been harboring a vampire killer. What? <laughs> what vampire? Do not insult my intelligent say. Seize him. Aaron, show him mercy! Yeah, Mo. Yeah, Mo. Are, are you okay? <coughs> Baron, stop! It was just a, a mix oh, up! Oh, Not now! Not now! Joe Dando, I think let's just sit this one out. Uh, you are forgetting that Guillermo is a vampire killer, which means he could kill the Baron. Guillermo! You got Guillermo. No! Uh, the Baron! How badly is he hurt? There you are! Because if he dies, then... Oh, yes, shut your whole Guillermo. Guillermo, help me. These two imbeciles. Baron, we ask that you show Guillermo mercy. Mm. You agree that when Guillermo opened the door and fried you by the sun inside the time. Right. And Guillermo, you accept, even though it was an accident, that the Baron has every right to be very mad at the fact that he got fried by the sun. But let's take a hot five. Guillermo, I will take a carafe of your finest blood. Ah, yes. OK. I will fetch. And kudos to Nandor, hmm? To turn a Van Helsing, a vampire killer, into a vampire? Oh, oh that is a big get. <laughs> I must congratulate him when he returns. Well, see, that's the thing. It wasn't Nandor that turned me. What? Oh, it was that vampire named Derek? How could you do such a thing? i just been waiting for this a long time, and yeah, it's still a bit sticky, but... Oh, sticky? I think it is a bit more than just sticky. It is a devastation. 
a violation, a humiliation, a shame from which neither you nor Nando shall ever recover. I know, I know, and that's exactly why I haven't told him. And I would appreciate if none of you tell him either. Mm. In the flat Pepsi for Guillermo. Thank you. So, truce, so you are not killing him then? So good, in fact, I propose a toast to the Baron, to Guillermo. To the... If I could have a moment alone with Guillermo. Mm. Alone? Mm. Yeah, no, please. Thank you, Nando. Yes, yes thank you, Baron, <laughs> thank you. A secret like this, it will not stay hidden forever. It is best that Nando hears it from you. I know. Mm. But what do you think he'll do? He'll probably kill you, then himself. That is what I would do. Right. Mm. You know, it's funny, I did all this because I want to be a vampire, a great vampire, like Nandor, like you. Oh. Well, things were, he is going to track Guillermo down until he... Dad, I'm sure he will be safe. And Dad, Baron, listen, oh, Guillermo is... Was... Yeah. Baron, I, I beg mercy. I know that Guillermo has made some mistakes. He nearly killed you twice. He's even <laughs> massacred an entire theater of vampires. He did so to defend his master. Whatever Guillermo's flaws may be, he has always been loyal to me. Has he? Yes, Baron. Mm, has he, though? Yes, Baron, he has. You are certain? Yes, I, I am. <clears throat> Why would you say that? Guillermo. Okay, now I'm starting to feel a little bad. But on the bright side, he was just a familiar. He was not just a familiar. He was my bodyguard. He was the best man at my wedding. He was my friend. Okay. Can help carry this, please? Hmm? That's... Oh, what are you doing? Stand aside. Laszlo, what are you doing? Laszlo, I do not think we need to eat him. Yes. Stop that! Stop that! Mm. Mm. Hey! Mm. Oh. <laughs> Does Gizmo have gills? You mean lungs? I mean gills. Maybe. He never said. I never asked. Whirling on under all of it. Oh. Why do his eyes look like that? It's not Gizmo. It can be beautiful, this eternal existence. Now Wait. you're talking. <laughs> Except for the luggage. I was kind of hoping it would get it unloaded and unpacked, if you don't mind. ASAP. Hurry, Guillermo! That horn signifies the release of the humans! They're getting a head start on us! They must be college athletes, the most challenging prey. Did you catch the scent? What? Lead me! No, I'm not a bloodhound. Yeah. You can catch the scent from these. No, I'm not gonna touch that. Just get your muzzle in there, get a nice big whiff. No. You can track them with this. You know what? How about this? You wait here, and I'm gonna go, and you wait for my signal. Okay? Signal? Yeah. You what's wait for the, it, okay? What's the signal? You'll see. Look at him go. Guy like that, catches a whiff of something musky. He absolutely will not stop. Oh, yeah, I just ran into the woods and then circled back in when Nandra wasn't looking. Yemo! What have you found? What a good boy! Yemo! Yeah, boy! That uh -huh. even after all this time of waiting to become one of you, he's forced to give up and take matters into his own hands. Sorry, what? Well, I think, you know, I don't think they mean to exclude no, you. Guillermo, do not stick up for I'm this. I'm circling I'm... back to taking matters into his own hands. Well, I don't think thing. that's the point. The point is, well, that I think kind of is the point. Different. Is anyone else curious about this, Leslo? Mm -hmm. Nadja, curiosity there? Colin Robinson? Any... No, sir. Okay, you know, it kind of feels like there's something going on and everyone knows what it is except me. Master. Yes? I, uh... Speed it out. I made a, a big mistake and I didn't want to tell you because I didn't want to hurt you. I had someone else turn me into a vampire. I, I asked them to do it. You asked 
someone else, a vampire who was not me. I feel like I had no other choice. You could have asked me. Are you fucking kidding me? I asked you repeatedly for 13 years. Yes, and I was gonna get round to it. I've had a lot on my plate at the moment. <sighs> Who? What? Who was it? I don't think that's really relevant. It's relevant to me. It's just what's done. Yeah, no! Derek. Okay. Well, thank you for being honest with me. Okay. I appreciate it. Now I'm going to be honest with you. This is good. I am going to kill you. Guillermo, and then quite possibly myself. It all depends on whether I'm still completely and utterly humiliated after I'm done killing you. Whoa, 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 if it makes you feel any better, he's only a half-baked vampire. Yes, I know. He has been Helsing blood. His vampire killer cells are fighting off his vampire cells with all their might. Okay, oh, shit. That's what's going <laughs> Master, if you just let me talk. A dead man. Gizmo, if I was you, I would just stay back there. And in the meantime, where are the documentarians? Behind me? I'd say she's more than nice, Colin Robinson. She has a tremendous wit. Huh? Forgive and forget, that's what I say. And let me out of this cage so I can kill Guillermo. This had kind of got in my head a little bit. <laughs> yes, I think you did. <laughs> oh, fuck. I've never been able to do that. Now you're just rubbing it in. Very Derek. Master, if I let you out of this cage, do you promise not to kill me? I promise. You mean it? No! What are you doing? I'm giving you a head start, you knob lord. Hey, slow. Let me out of this case so I can kill Guillermo. Give me that key. If I were you, I'd run. Run, boy, run! Guillermo! I have often thought, as I've searched for a wife, that the answer might just be here under my nose the whole time. <laughs> Which, by the way, um, any progress on that end? You talk to him? What do you say? Him! I think what bugs me the most is that I have given Guillermo my friendship. This is a gift I do not give to just anyone. Here. I think what it is is that I thought Guillermo had earned it. Nandor, can I ask you a question? Yes, Peter Oswald. Your friendship with Guillermo was very special, right? I thought it was. And I bet killing a friend would really hurt. I imagine it would be one of the worst feelings a person could have. So what if you repair the friendship? You repair it. So to you're saying that I should not kill my former friend? Uh, yes. You, you, this you is your suggestion. Well, you know, you rebuild. After you hearing my tale of deceit and betrayal, all that betray me must be destroyed. Goodbye, Peter Noswold. It does make a good point, though. Hi. Hola, man. We are now five. Where is he going to sit? I. Leso, leso. We told you experiment. You must, or else you'll be eternally frozen in this painful and ending limbo. Now drink. Come on, Guillermo. Bitch. Yes, drink it. Drink. 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 Thanks. Never felt more alive. I really. Fire! Nicely done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we hunt! I'm sorry, I'm only need to eat. Come on, Guillermo. I bonked this one on the head just for you. They're much easier to drain than kill when they're not wriggling around. Oh, no. I, I'm actually not that hungry. OK, well, FYI, if you leave them hanging around too long with their unconscious, their blood, it loses its zing. Just as I feared. Guillermo is not cut out to be a vampire. I will fix. Yes, I wish for Guillermo. Uh, uh, you ran out of wishes a long time ago. I didn't even know there was a special ceremony for... Wait, what was the ceremony called again? The ceremony of empiric transmogrification. Huh. Don't be nervous, we have all been through it. Well, is it scary? Nothing you cannot handle. The ancient ceremony will help hasten you along your path. 
this time. Are you ready? I am. Derek is here too? Yes, fucking guy. But ancient ritual dictates that he must be present. Come on. Hello? Hello? <clears throat> the empires all gather we here in the dark of night. We do. We, do. we, do. we have made of ourselves a circle. We gather here in a circle and broken at the crossroads between life and death. Guillermo de la Cruz, are you prepared? I am. Guillermo de la Cruz, are you of sound mind and strong of body? I am. A choice will be made. They found the robes in a box in the attic and uh, the candles I think we got from a Home Depot. I'm sorry, Guillermo. It was the only way for you to figure out what you actually wanted. It was a horrible and hard decision. I think you made the right choice. I know. Now, if you wouldn't mind clearing up Derek's corpse before sunrise, that would be great. <laughs> <laughs>